¿Cómo están? Welcome back to my channel, Learn with Rafaela. Before we start another lesson, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and share with your friends. And also, if you feel it, leave a comment. I want to know if you like the work I am doing here on YouTube. Hasta luego! Muy bien, vamos a empezar con la clase 8, lesson 8, los dígrafos en español. Our goal today is learn how to pronounce the Spanish digraphs to improve oral and reading skills in Spanish. Let's learn together how to speak and write confidently in Spanish. The digraphs in Spanish, los digraphos. In Spanish, digraphs are combinations of two letters that represent a single sound. Common digraphs include the CHE, ELLE, Q, GU, and R DOBLE. Okay, let's focus on each one of them and let's learn it together. The first digraph is the CHE. The digrafo, CHE, I will say it in Spanish, okay? Digrafo, you already know digrafo is digraph. Um, CHE represents a single sound similar to the English ch sound in cheese. It makes it a little easier, right? Let's repeat to get after me. Cha, che, chi, cho, chu. And let's see some examples. Learn how to pronounce and uh, learn vocabulary at the same time. That's an awesome, right? Cha, charlar, che, Cheque, chi, chico, cho, chocolate, chu, churros. Let's um, learn and improve with even more vocabulary and pronunciation. Recibí un cheque de mi jefe. El chico tiene un juguete nuevo. Me gusta el chocolate con almendras. The next digrafo is the EYE. In Spanish alphabet, the EYE eh, used to be a letter, but is now considered a digrafo, called EYE, and is pronounced as a single sound. Okay, there are many ways to pronounce this digraph, this digrafo, and it's not about right or wrong. Is about variety, it's about regions in different countries that speak Spanish, okay? Me, how do I uh, pronounce this letter? I say it in two ways. It depends of the word, it depends of the day, <laughs> uh, but in general I'll, I say ja, jave, the j, j sound, like uh, James, the, the name James, jave, Okay, or I say with an I sound, llave, llave, llevar, ye, llevar, y apellido, yo, llover. Okay, in other countries, for example, in Argentina, they say chave or jave. Okay, uh, it depends of the country, as I said before, and your uh, preference. Okay, I will say the way I used to, okay, and you make your choice. Ja, je, ji, jo, ju. Ja, jave. Je, llevar. Ji, apellido. Jo, llover. Ju, lluvia. Or, with I sound, ya, llave, ye, llevar, yi, apellido, yo, llover, and you, lluvia. Let's practice with more examples. Don't forget to repeat after me. That's very important, okay? Perdí 
la llave de mi casa. Voy a llevar a mi perro al parque. Mi apellido es Rodríguez. Or llave, or llevar, or apellido, as I said before. The next digrafo is the letter Q that is um, usually followed by U, E, or U, I. Okay, U, E in Spanish, or U, E, with a silent U as in the word quemar or quinto. You don't say quemar, you don't say quinto because the U is silent, okay? In rare cases, it can be followed by wa and wo with a, pronoun and, uh, with a pronoun pronunciation. Uh, the U is not going to be silent anymore in those cases, okay? Like in squash, or status quo. These are not Spanish words, okay? That's why. Let's see some examples. Qua, quasar. Qua, quasar. Okay, it's a little more softer. Qua, quasar. Um, but more words, you're gonna see, you're gonna find more words with que and qui, like quemar and quitar. Okay, and quo, like in quota, quota. Um, it's not very common, as I said before, okay? Well, let's practice with more examples. Vamos a quemar la leña en la chimenea. Voy a quitar el polvo de los estantes. Hay una cuota mensual para el uso de datos. At this point, I truly believe that it's not that difficult for you to pronounce and repeat those words because you watched my other videos, right? You watched my other lessons. Yeah, I want to believe that. <laughs> If you didn't, stop this video and go back to the lesson number one, okay? Well, the next digrafo is uh, the G with the U and A, E, E, and O, okay? Uh, the vowels, the other vowels. Then in Spanish, the pronunciation of wa and wo involves the wa pronunciation like in water, okay? For example, guante, antiguo, okay? Then the G, U, A ha has, uh, have this sound wa, wa, like in water. Wa, water, guante, wo, wo, antiguo, okay? And when it's followed by A and E, the U is silent. Just like, it's gonna sound like the, uh, the word get. Ge, guerra. Gui, guitarra. A little more soft, okay? Guerra, guitarra. You don't have to say guerra, <laughs> okay? I'm probably making some sounds a little more st strong than uh, the natural because I want you to get used to it, okay? Sometimes it's better when you force a little bit and then by, by the time you start to pronounce it, to pronounce better and more natural, okay? Then trust me and trust the process, okay? Let's repeat again. Wa guante, ge guerra, gui guitarra, wo antiguo, wo antiguo, okay? More examples. En invierno es importante usar guantes. La paz es preferible a la guerra. Siempre quise aprender a tocar la guitarra. How to pronounce the doble R? The doble R in Spanish is called doble R or R doble. And it represents a strong rolling and trilling R sound. R, okay? Ra, re, ri, ro, ru. Ra, tierra. Re, correr. Ri, arriba. Ro, perro. Ru, arruga. 
Examples. Me gusta correr en el parque todas las mañanas. Mi casa está arriba de la colina. Mi perro siempre me da la bienvenida cuando llego a casa. Let's repeat only the words with double R. Correr arriba perro. Okay? Um, as a tip for you, a learning tip, when I was learning, for example, French, it was very difficult for me to pronounce the R in French, right? The H, H sound. Then I started to practice by myself just making the sound. H, 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 H to practice the R in French. In this case, with Spanish, I recommend you to do the R, R, R like a phonetic exercise for your tongue, okay? R, R, and I know you're gonna roll your R amazingly, okay? Now, let's talk about homework. Don't forget to download the PDF with explanations and a fun quiz to help you improve your knowledge in Spanish. Thank you so much and see you next class.